Hey yo people from the internet, this is Hero Dev and today after a long while I know I was actually working to be honest but not on a project I can I can say in, on the channel because it's a normal huh? job. Today for this first tutorial of, of the channel I'm going to show you how to make consecutive attacks. So we have a little demo platformer, we can't even jump to be honest. We can just go left and right. And if you want to make consecutive attacks, you only need literally two to three stuff to prepare your character. So the first one is to have an animation player here so, and an animation tree that works like this. We got the idol and if we click we have the attack one that goes into attack two with at the end and at the end we go back to idol and same thing here and if we go in the play in the player we can see that i have a little bit of a, a player state i don't really like using player states but yeah you don't really need much for uh, for this stuff uh, you can see that in the script we don't have much we literally have the basic animation for the idol and flip character sprite and the movement. We start by making a int stager variable called attacks and it's going to store the maximum attacks you have. But you can add, I don't know, I guess even 10 attacks. And now in the physics process we are going to make an if statement that works like so. If the attack is 2 and we press the attack button, at the state machine we have, it's going to travel to the ATK1, the player state, it's going to be a state attack, but doesn't really work well with how I made the animation, because if the velocity is 0, we we straight on go to the idol so this one it's going to stay for like i guess a frame you can change uh, the player state uh, with something well made and if we only have this we make the attack you can spam it all you want and works but that's not a consecutive attack so how do we do that we make the attacks minus equal to one and now we do the elif that's literally the same thing the attacks is one okay so after this one after lowering our attacks by one we go with another elif with another if statement that goes if the attack is one and the input is action just press attack we uh, check uh, which state the state machine is ATK1 it's the name of my animation you can call it all that you want we literally do the same thing so state machine state machine travel to ATK2 the state I mean I can, I can write it it's not going to work well as I already said and then you can do two stuff for me, I'm going to reset the attack back to 2 and if you want more attacks, you go minus equal to 1 and repeat this part of the elif statement. It works, uh, it's fine. You can click two times during the animation and it works. So just notice what happened here. I clicked once and it did the first attack but when I stopped clicking the animation uh, finished and if I click again it doesn't work anymore that's because our code works like this I'm, I'm just going to give a simple explanation the first if statement checks if our attacks are two and the input after that, we have attacks that it's not two anymore, it's just one. And after it goes past this other elif, it doesn't go past this other one. Because 
the state machine it's not on attack one it's not on the first animation of the attacks but it's back to idle so the attacks never gets resetted back to two so what we can do is add a timer get two seconds and one shot it's fine and back in the first elif in the first if statement we can say timer to start start the timer we create the signal and we simply say the attacks are back to two so if we run the code they click and they wait and they click it does the first attack once more and it goes like this for back to seconds and if i click the times it does the, uh, the consecutive attack so if i lower the count to i don't know 0.5 it's quick so we don't really lose much time so yeah works fine it's really easy and if you want a more um i don't know uh, solid way I'm just going to put the link down in the description. I don't really remember who made that as of now, but I'm going to make something that make you understand which one it is uh, in the editing. So we finished for the first ever tutorial by HeroDev. And if you liked it, you can subscribe and leave a like so you, be you can become a hero as well. And yeah. I'll see you again in the next video, which hopefully will not be in a month.